Hey boys and girls, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about rounding. I know yesterday on your modules you worked on rounding, and so I'm going to show you a couple of things. I always think rounding is easy. Uh, the biggest thing is some of the communication that we use, the uh, words, the verbiage, it gets kind of confusing, so I'm hoping to kind of set that straight for you all today. I know that you all have learned in the past that you have to look next door in order to round. And if the number next door is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, you keep it the same. However, if the number is 5 or more, 5, or more, five 6, 7, 8, or 9, then what we are going to do is round up or add 1. However you want to do it, it's rounding up or adding 1 to that number. So the, there's kind of a, a process, and what I want you to do this would be a good thing to put in your notes. So if you want to hit pause here and put it in your notes, that would be good. Um, but these are the steps for rounding. Let me get my cursor. I don't know why my cursor's up there. Sorry about that. So step one is you're going to underline the place value column that you are rounding. Uh, so if they tell you we're rounding to the nearest 10, you go to the tens column and underline it. If they tell you the nearest 100,000, 100, you go to the 100,000 column and underline it. If they say the nearest tenth, you go to the tenth column and underline it. That's all they're talking about. Second, once you have that column underlined, you look next door to the right, one place value column, to see if you keep the underlined column the same or you round up. Now, I know that's a lot of words, and I'm going to show you this in a minute. But if they tell you to round to the nearest 100, you go to the 100 column, you look next door. That number next door is going to tell you either to round up or keep it the same. That's it. Number three, once it tells you to round up or keep it the same, you do it. You're going to either change that number to add one to it, or you're just going to keep it the same. And then the last thing that you have to do is every column after the underlined one, the one that you're rounding to, you change the remaining numbers to zero and you just rewrite it. Rewrite the number. That's it. You're done. So we're going to do a couple of practices. Again, if you needed to pause this video to write this down, this would be excellent for your notes. So let's do a couple of these. So here is our first number. Well, see my board's not calibrated. That's nice. There we go. So our first number is 34,195, and it tells us to round to the nearest hundred. And I have my place value chart up here. I know some of you all have not memorized this. This is something that you're going to have to memorize. You have to know that in front of the decimal, it's the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions column. After the decimal, tens, hundreds, thousands got to memorize it. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. So this is a to-do list if you don't have this memorized. All right, so let's go to our chart. What does it say to do first? It says to underline the digit or the, the place value column that we're rounding to. It's telling us to round to the nearest hundred. So I need to go to my hundred column and uh, underline it. Now my number's off a little bit. I'm going to slide this up. I'm going to slide this over a little bit just so it lines up a little bit better. But I'm just going to underline this 100 column, and in this case, it is the 1. Then it said to go next door to the right and see what that number, it will tell us how to round that number. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the right, one number, and I see that it's a 9. Now I know 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, it tells us to round up or add 1. So I have to go back to my underlying column, and I need to add 1. So that 1 is no longer going to be a 1, because 1 plus 1 is what? 2. So I'm going to change this to a 2. And then I just rewrite the number. So my 3 stays the same, my 4 stays the same. I already changed my 2. Now anything after the 2, we just turn to zeros. So these remaining two columns, we made zero. So we've rounded it to 34,200. And we're finished with this one. That's all we do. So let's do another one. 
So this time we have the number 85,761. And I know it's kind of hard to see here, but it says we're rounding to the nearest thousand. So according to our chart, the first thing we do is we have to find the thousand column and underline it. Now I already have my place value chart up here, but I know it's ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. I need to underline the thousand column. In this case, it's this digit five. So I'm going to underline it. Step two, we look to the right, immediately to the right next door and see what number it is. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna look next door and I'm gonna see it's a seven. I know if it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, I have to add one or round up. So I have to add one to this five. What's five plus one? Six. So we're gonna change this five to a six. Everything in front of the six stays the same. So we're just going to bring down the eight. Everything after the six turns to zero. That's why we're rounding, we're changing it to zero. So we are changing all of these to zeros, and then all I have to do is put in my comma where it goes. So my answer to this is 86,000, I am finished. So now we're gonna do one after the decimal, tens, hundreds, thousandths, exact same process. So our number today for this one is 12,593 and 482 thousandths. That's our number. And it tells us we're going to round to the nearest hundredth. Now I know some of you all are still memorizing this, but after the decimal, we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. It's telling us we're rounding to the nearest hundredth. So we just go to the hundredth column and underline it. So I'm gonna go to my hundredth column and I'm gonna underline it. Step two, look to the right, see what number it is. So I'm gonna look to the right, it's a two. I know that zero, one, two, three, four, we keep it the same. Now some of your teachers told you you round down. No, you don't round down, the number stays the same. That's why we get confused. We don't round down, we keep it the same. So all I'm going to do to this number eight is just keep it the same. So right underneath it, I'm going to write eight. That's it. Now, everything in front of the eight, to the left of the eight, those numbers stay the same. So I'm gonna bring down my four. I'm gonna bring down my decimal. I'm gonna bring down my three. I'm gonna bring down my nine. I'm gonna bring down my five. I'm gonna put in my comma. I'm gonna bring down my two. I'm gonna bring down my one. Anything after, we can put a zero. So instead of a two, I can put a zero. So our number here is 12,593 and 480 thousandths. Now we've also learned when there's a zero at the very end after the decimal, after the decimal, if there's a zero, we can simplify that answer. We don't need the zero. So if it's at the very end, we can get rid of it. We can just get rid of it. If it's anywhere else in the number, in the beginning, the middle, can't get rid of it. But at the very end, after the decimal only, can't get rid of the zeros up here, but after the decimal only, if there's a zero, we can get rid of it if it's at the end. So really our number is 12,593 and 48 hundredths. I hope this made rounding easier. Uh, you're all gonna take a quiz on this momentarily, so I hope this helped a little bit. If not, hop on the Google Meet, ask me some questions about it. All right, good luck.